Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you all. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North, No. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? If you guys are interested in your own personal love reading with me, please do go in the description box for my email contact so that we can schedule you for a reading. Also, if you're interested in other signs other than Virgo, then do go to my other channel. It's called The Priestess of Reason to subscribe over there. And again, as I always say, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. I am here with you on your journey as much as you are on mine, and I can't wait to see this channel grow. All right? So I picked up on a masculine energy very heavily, and the name that came to mind was Houdini. Now, if you guys are not familiar with who this person is, go and do your research, but you're in luck because I'm going to explain uh, explain just a little bit so you guys get why I'm even telling you about this so keep in mind this is about a male energy Houdini is someone that was a magician okay he was someone that was known for you know uh, getting out of shackles ropes and handcuffs he was also someone that was considered to be very short. He was five foot six. There could be a masculine energy that is about five foot six here, or someone fell short of something. Okay? I'm also getting that this, this um, person, Houdini, he died of a ruptured appendix. And if you've been following my readings and you have been watching then you know that i've been talking a lot about a masculine energy that has been ill for a long time or has been on and off lately okay so for some of you that don't know houdini passed away um october 31st he was uh, 52 years old back in 1926 <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> sorry guys so the, the date October 31st could mean something to you or someone could have Scorpio energy I'm also getting someone could have an issue with their appendix okay someone could also live in Detroit his last words before he passed on was, I'm tired of fighting. So someone that's dealing with an illness or going through certain things in their life, they're tired of fighting. They're waving in the white flag. I'm also getting here that Houdini was accused of fraud um, with the German public. And it looks like the people that were accusing him of putting up illusions with his acts or being bamboozled into thinking that something was magic sued him okay I also heard something about a claim uh, they claim Houdini had attempted to bribe the police officers to help him escape and out of other problems but Harry Houdini once sued a police officer who accused him of fraud and won. So this masculine energy that I'm picking up on could be going through a lot of legalities, okay? I'm also getting here, um, he may have been Hungarian. He was born March 24th. So someone that you're in the energy of, this other person, uh, the, the date March 24th can be sig significant. March 24th will be coming up very soon. So that could be very significant to you as well. I'm also getting here, Virgo, that there's something about you that is of relevance or you're very relevant right now. 
So that's what I had for the pre-read. Let's get into what is going on here. Okay. So Virgo, we have divine masculine or feminine. So someone wants to do something with intention or meaning. Whether this is like to do something good or bad, someone has the intention to do something here. Yep, someone is a dedicated fan. You got someone that sees you as very relevant, that is stalking you, following you, snooping around. I picked up on that energy. Someone could even be coming into your home at night to get information while you're asleep, whether you live in a home or an apartment. What else is going on here for Virgo? I'm also getting opposite sex attraction. Someone that is the opposite sex, this is a masculine that is attracted to you. Someone, you know, thinks of how to invite you to dinner or out to drinks without acting like a total creep or feeling like you're creeped out. There is a new person that has potential with you. Let's see what's going on in love. So we have honeymoon. So it looks like whoever this, this divine masculine or feminine is, it's a new potential person. This person here wants to take you on a trip or somewhere where you feel like you're getting away from the world here. What else for my Virgos? What is it that Virgo needs to know? We also have codependency. So whoever this dedicated fan that's stalking, following you, or snooping is very codependent on your energy. It's hard to let go of you. Even though the passion may have died out on your end, this person really does like you and wants to be with you or wants to be in your energy. I've talked about this in my last read. Someone here wants to be in your energy so bad. Someone does not want to let you go from the past. Someone wants you to be current or present. I told y'all, there's something about you, Virgo, that's relevant for them. You are of relevance, okay? I'm also getting um, whoever this person of the opposite sex is, you may be releasing them. Spirit is telling you that it's time to release your person or whomever this is in your energy. Not the new person, but someone that's been lingering in your energy here. Okay? Let's see what else we got going on for Virgo. So it looks like you need to take action towards this new person. I'm also getting if you believe. So I'm getting here there's something that you don't believe about this person. But some of you, your health could be improving if you were going through some things. What is this if you believe in reverse? Wow. So you don't believe that this person is not watching you. They are. Okay? This person is watching the heck out of you with the Page of Swords. Or they have someone that is an air sign doing it for them. Okay? I'm also getting here that... Someone's going through some really complicated times. Someone is unable to um, get away from something or get through something here. So it looks like they're, they're, they're wanting to ask for money. Someone's watching you to see like what you're getting into, what you're buying, how much it may cost to uh, let them know like how much money you've got in your bank account, something like that here, okay? Why is this person watching you? Who is this page of swords? This person could be younger than you or just young-minded. There's something youthful about this person. Yep, 
This person is watching you to see also if you have anyone new in your energy field. There's some type of territorial energy around this. I'm getting the colors blue and red. Yep. Someone is obsessed with trying to figure out who it is that you're, you know, dealing with or spending time with, whatever the case may be. They're obsessed. They're very codependent. Okay. So Capricorn, fire energy, as well as air is also here. This could also be three different people. All right. So let's see what else is going on here. What we may need to know. So the first card coming up, it says you are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on another person. I'm getting here when marriage happens, you will know. Right now, this, this new person could be a potential partner to be a twin flame. Okay? We're going to look at you manifesting someone new. What else is showing up here for Virgo? So we have open your heart. So love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. Some of you are afraid to get too close to someone. I'm getting you feel absolutely vulnerable when something like that happens, comes around. I'm also seeing a soulmate. So I'm getting here that you have found your divine counterpart or you already have met your soulmate. If this person is someone here that you would like to get back together with, this is only for certain people that still would like to be with their person, then you can. I'm getting that you need to take a trip away or from, you know, the world so that you can properly focus on learning to forgive each other and exploring those feelings that you have towards one another. Mm. Let's see what else is going on here for Virgo. Okay, so we have gloomy thoughts in reverse. Someone's giving up on those gloomy thoughts of bad things happening or death, change. I'm getting here shortly. There will be some type of good lady here, but they will not be playing the position of a main person. Someone could be having gloomy thoughts of thinking that they'll never find someone better or that they will never be happy, but there's gonna be someone that comes along, which is this feminine energy to change all of that. Someone doesn't want you to be the main person in someone's life, okay? Why does it have to be you is what I'm hearing. It could be anybody else, but why you? Someone is very territorial. There's a good gentleman and an expectation with the number five and the number 28. So someone is changing here, this gentleman, for the better. Someone feels like they need you to understand that there, you do have good intentions or expectations here. You're trying to work through uh, certain adversities to be a better person or to bring good news. Someone could be struggling or it may have gambled all their money away. Someone has an issue with their finances. This could be you or someone in your energy. Someone here could be 28 years old. So we have a change. So a change is adamant here. Someone needs to get ready for change because it's going to happen whether you like it or not. Someone needs to look up the spiritual animal gi giraffes. Okay, so there's a change in someone's um, home life. 
someone is transitioning from having a military background or learning something through military to now a civilian. Someone that's a civilian will be trying to steal from you, but this person doesn't have any military background. Someone stealing from you or you're stealing from them or whatever the case may be because someone's falling on hard times. Someone doesn't feel like they're gonna get caught from something that they do, but they're feeling guilty about something in regards to court. Tell me more about this change, number nine. This is like a personal change here. I'm hearing something about liquefy. Someone could be drinking. Someone could be drinking their sorrows away because they may have been let go or money has been gambled away. Someone could be 34 years old. Someone may have gambled their money away or given their money to a rich girl. Okay. What else is showing up here for Virgo? What is it that Virgo needs to know? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. So we have stability. So there is stability, harmony, and flow showing up because of your sake of belief, your self-worth. You know that you can get more or you deserve more so you're you're um manifesting stability you are in this deserving energy to have to be appreciated and that's why you are going to be celebrating giving or receiving gifts and earning abundance okay allow things to multiply because you deserve them Okay, we also have deception. So there's a masculine energy. Someone's trying to repeat the same cycle of this harmonic love offers, affairs with you. Someone doesn't want you to know that that's their plan, but they want to come in with this harmonic energy to keep you locked into the same cycles that you were going through with them in the past. What you need to know is that this person is a stalemate connection. This person is someone that would like to control you through embarking on soul tie energies. This is someone you need to stay away from. Okay? Let's see what else is going on here. For Virgo. Wow. First card jumping out, number 11. I'm hearing around uh, November 26th. Look at this. Great fortune at the bottom of the deck. Someone's hating on you because of the bag that you got, because of the luck that you come into, because you are deserving of this, and they're not getting as equal as what you're getting here. Why is someone so focused on the cards that you're being dealt? This was ordered to you. Okay, I'm guessing through a job or occupation, whatever it is that you do, certain people feel some type of way because you earn this and they have it. Someone could be four years older or younger than their person. Someone could be born on the 30th day of a month. I'm hearing someone has 30 days to submit something to the courts in regards to their, their occupation or their job. Someone's afraid that they may lose what they got or someone may dive deep into something here. We have a official person in reverse and unexpected income at the bottom of the deck with privileged lady, okay? 
So it looks like something's being concealed or something is being withheld from you know, the public or from a specific person about someone's uh, income or how someone came into some money. Whoever this person is, they see you as the privileged lady, like where is all this coming from? Okay. I'm also getting high honor. Someone could be um, challenging your need to be honest or something like that here. Someone wants you to prove them right about who you are or what, what type of energy you're bringing to the table. Oh, that smells so good. Look, all these cards came out. I'm not gonna take them though. Someone here is trying to trap you into believing that they're not trying to cause any issues, but uh, trying to take money out of your pocket. I'm hearing someone say it's nothing personal, but they want a commitment or something that you're committing to, to fall through where you're lonely, okay? That's just what I'm getting. I can't make this up. The cards just fall out here. If you guys aren't following me or subscribe to me, go ahead and subscribe, all right? Go over to my other channel as well, which is the Priestess of Reason, to support me over there as well. Okay, so we have real estate. Someone is investing in some type of property or a line of, of real estate here. Someone has a, um, a project that they want to fulfill and someone's trying to make sure that whatever your plans are, that it falls through. But no weapon that's formed against Virgo shall prosper. And when we return that energy to where it came from, okay? Don't allow this person to put you in a, in a state of fear or um, anger. They want you to be overloaded with stress. They want people to not be or fuck with you to be your friend or to be around you to help you. They want everything to fall through. I'm hearing that song by Kanye West, All Falls Down. <coughs> Sorry. What else is going on here? The number 70 could be significant. Someone definitely is hoping for, for someone to quit a job um, or something like that. Like I said, someone's trying to have you in some type of mental confinement because it's all about you, okay? You're in the hot seat right now. Someone's mad because you're never alone. Your guides and your friends, your true ride or dies are are there for you they got your back okay you can't be touched is what i'm hearing here virgo someone may be bribing or persuading someone to cause you all type of um unnecessary issues someone's trying to brainstorm something big but not to draw your attention to it someone's gonna have to end up apologizing because of how guilty they feel. Someone may have attempted or tried to rob you um, or your, your, your parents so that you, won't, you wouldn't have any, anywhere to go. Someone wants to make sure that you're homeless here. I keep getting that energy in different decks. Wow. What else is going on here? Look, material and spiritual prosperity, they can, they can try and try and try to get you and try to be patient for you to open up so that you'll tell them some shit, but you got your mouth closed. Closed mouths don't get fed. Closed mouths will not ever be able to understand where you're going and what you're doing. That's not for you to know. It's on a need to know basis if that's mandatory but it's not with certain people. 
Yeah, someone's trying to cause you some type of imbalance through information that they want to obtain from you or trying to tamper with your your um, your documents in your home or, or trying to hack you. But you're too spiritually lit right now to be tempted by these motherfuckers, okay? Your crown chakra is hot and heavy. And you're well aware of who these people are. The number six, nine, and seven could be significant. Someone needs to refocus about what the goal is and not underestimate their strength. Don't let anybody draw you out. Don't allow anyone to draw you out. Someone doesn't want you to leave here. Someone wants you to think about the connection that y'all share or the first time y'all met. I told you, I told you, someone is illegally entering your home or searching your property, car, or documents. Okay? I told y'all, I felt it. Car jumped out. Someone here could be giving you the chills or someone's getting chills thinking about giving you a love call. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have wingman. So this is someone that you consider your, your best friend, partner in crime. Someone is covering, covering for the other person. Whether this is you, yep. This is a group of people that may make it too late to try to cover up something here. As I said before, let's see what else is going on here. What else is there that we need to know? Okay, someone's searching for a reason to start a fight. Okay. Someone wants to test your gangster. Let's see what else Virgo has going on in their energy. Okay, so we have elephant and tiger. So there's a long journey, either physical or mental, that will leave you wiser at the end. So you were meant to go through something specific. But this was a lesson in result of you doing something risky or taking a chance. Use your intuition to make changes here. Okay, so we have Apple. Temptation will tempt you or test you. And your family. Heartache over what you no longer have. Look, because you're, <coughs> I'm sorry, because you're so hardworking and you're achieving success, people are working against you, trying to make you project this sad energy and stressful energy onto you here. So we have October and Box. Someone here will be receiving a gift, okay? Or getting some type of package. I'm getting that this will allow you to climb towards success. This could be from a potential suitor or lover here. All right, Virgos. I'm just going to tap into the read and then close out. I don't want to be in this energy for too much longer. What do we have here for Virgo? Look, magician. Someone is trying to put some type of spell or potion together to end something for you because everything is working out in your damn favor. Come on, Virgo. Something is working out in their favor and it's allowing them to feel weighed down. Someone's upset because nothing that they're doing is working. We got the King of Cups in reverse. Someone is no longer phased emotionally by what someone is trying to do. This person could be 
um, a water sign or a fire sign here. Someone here feels left out in the cold by you, or this is how you felt about someone here. Someone is mad because you're unbothered, Virgo. Yep. Someone's waiting for something to transpire that isn't even taking effect in any way, shape, or form. Something is going to end up being set back or returned to sender. Now this person is going to be left to deal with their karma. Look, because you know who this person is. Yep, and once you find out, their goose is cooked, my friends. They're done for. All right, Virgos. So that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in any personal uh, messages or readings, please do reach out to me with my information in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next one.